So I'm John. Uh, I work for Bizmarts. I've been working for Bizmarts for the last sort of uh, eight months or so, um, primarily looking at our point of sale. Hopefully, um, what you saw just then will be the only technical uh, uh, hindrance we'll have of the evening. Um, I'd like to give you just an overview of our point of sale uh, that we've built for Magento. Um, I want to try and give you a demo as well, if that's going to be feasible. And I want to just give, go through um, some of the success uh, points that we've experienced with one of our customers, Mothercare, um, and what they're experiencing in store by taking our point of sale for Magento um, in some of their franchise brands. So hopefully, um, I'm sorry it's not filling up full screen, um, but hopefully we don't need much of an introduction. Um, Ibismarts have been working in the Magento community for the last eight years or so. We are primarily a technology partner, so we build extensions for the Magento community, um, and we build payment and email marketing uh, modules. So our latest offering is the point of sale, um, and you know we are known for offering our outstanding customer support um, to the community, both retailers and agencies that, that partner with us. So here are just some of the uh, modules that we, we actually got in the marketplace today. One is uh, SagePay. Uh, you're probably all familiar with SagePay as a, a payment gateway. Um, SagePay is a company have got about 40,000 customers on their online platform. We know that we've got about 6,500 customers that are live using our module today, so we represent quite a significant proportion of their um, customer base. Um, and we also the official developer for MailChimp as well, the MailChimp module. Um, and as you can see, combined, I know that the, it hasn't really come out too well, but combined we've had about just over 55,000 downloads of, of both modules. Um, and you can see on the right-hand side, we're one of the highest rated, uh, the SagePay module is actually one of the highest rated modules uh, within the community, uh, within Connect, Magento Connect. So what is the Ibismarck's POS? So Ibismarck's POS is an enterprise-grade uh, point-of-sale um, application for the iPad for Magento. Um, and what we're trying to do with it really is, is bring together Magento as an e-commerce platform and uh, the in-store experience uh, and merge those two together to really offer a, a really uh, granular mo uh, omni-channel solution for retailers and, and customers alike. So... What I'm going to try and do now is a demo. So I presume you're all familiar with uh, Magento as a, an e-commerce platform. Um, this is just a, a, a test dummy site that we've got set up. Uh, we've got the Madison Island catalog uh, within here. So as you will expect, you've got your categories at the top. Uh, you can drill down into those categories and into the products and you can drill down into the products and actually see and we get to the uh we can drill down into the categories we can drill down to the products get to the product um and as you well expect you can go through the process of adding this product to the basket going to the checkout making payment and completing that order um so what we do from a um from a pos point of view we've got two elements to our solution one is a um module that we plug into the back end of magento sitting there. Um, I've been told it takes no more than 15 minutes to do. I'm not technical, uh, but um, we've done it in uh, a lot less time. And um, this, this module basically allows, um, it opens up Magento via an API that we've actually built. Um, and it allows our app that you can download from the app store to communicate to uh, Magento. So if I open up the app and I type in a device key, So we use the activation key, and the activation key will link up this app um, with the retailer's website. And what it will start to do is actually start synchronizing all of the different data items and data sets that reside within Magento. Um, and for our app, most importantly, what we're pulling down are the, the categories, the products, the product inventory, um, and from an omnichannel perspective, the customers as well. Um, and this is going to populate within the app and give the ability for the retailer then to take this app and then Magento site into store. So I'll, I'll give that a couple of seconds just to, just to complete, and then we can log in and see what that app then looks like for a retailer. So this is a one-time process. Um, 
happens on the first time that you activate the device. There is then a, a synchronization process that happens in the background, um, but it's only then synchronizing all the different uh, items within Magento that have changed since that first synchronization. So once that activation has been completed, um, we're then into the login page. And this is just using simple um, user permissions from uh, Magento itself. And we've added a, another feature within the app, uh, within the POS module to actually enable a pin code. So you don't have to use the, the username and, and password for, for Magento to log in. So if I log in, you can see immediately that we've then pulled in all of the categories at the top. And we can drill down into the categories. We can find that shirt that I was looking at. As you can see, we've pulled in all of the images, the description, any attributes that are associated to that product. Um, uh, and this being a configurable product, you've got the ability then to choose the different options that that product has. Um, I've got 16 units of stock of the XL, so I'll add that one to the basket. And as you can see, I can start to build my basket on the right-hand side. So I can have numerous products to that basket. I can then, if I wanted to, um, add a customer to that order. So these are customers that reside within Magento. Uh, if this is used within the retail environment and that customer is not an existing customer of Magento, you can actually create that customer and that customer will be present within the retail environment and the in-store, sorry, the online environment as well. And very simply, I'll check out. I can then get to um, the payment page um, and we can support a whole number of different payment options, cash being one, obviously. This will connect into a cash draw. Um, but we also support uh, credit and debit card payments as well. So we've got a, a number of relationships with a number of different um, card present payment providers, one of which is PayPal. And this is the PayPal here device. Uh, as you can see, it's um, very small, very mobile. Um, and what I'll do before I make a 140 pound transaction, I will just change the price. I've done it before. Um, so change it to a pound, um, click on PayPal here, enter the payment. So our app via the PayPal SDK will then talk to this little unit here. And we'll wait for that to fire up. So this is fully NFC compliant as well, and it will support Apple Pay. So I can tap my phone to it. I can authenticate via a fingerprint. It will then go online for authorization. It will complete the payment. I'll say no to a receipt for here. And I get to the final screen here where I can email the customer a receipt or I could subscribe them to a newsletter as well. And all this is being generated from Magento itself. And then we're into the next, next order. So as you can see, it's a very simple and very effective way of actually taking Magento into store and using it as a face-to-face -face, um, point of sale um, solution. So what I'll just quickly do there is I'll quickly uh, have a look at the history. I can see all the transactions that have occurred not only in store, but online as well. I've got the searchability to find out any order that's occurred within Magento. So if you've got customers that are bringing uh, online products back to a physical location, you've got the ability to refund them as well. So I'm just gonna create a credit note for this order that I've just made, bring that product back into stock, and finish that order. So very simple, very effective, um, and very neat solution for, for a retailer that's got Magento as a platform. So if I pop back to my presentation. I have a question. Do you have the ability to read the card of the customer? For example, if they add something, they add the card to the card. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we do um, persistent basket. So if they've, if they've been online and they've created a, um, a basket online, We've got the ability then to pull that basket into the app, and vice versa. We can build the app, we can build the basket on the app, and push it to the online account. Um, and then it fully supports wish lists as well. So if you Magento instance has got a wish list, we can pull that down into um, into the app. So some of the current success. Yeah, sure. Uh, does it have the capability to have a 
have a, a card, uh, sorry, a, a barcode reader? Yeah, absolutely. So as long as you've got um, your, your barcode values as attributes of your products, and then when, we, when you scan the, the product, it will then um, search that product or the attribute of that product and, and pull that product into the basket as well. So it can act as a full till system. Um, and I'll, I'll show you that in a, in a second. So some of the current success that we've got, um, we're present, well, we've got about 2,000 deployments of, of the app uh, in existence across about 500 customers at, at the moment. Um, and we're spanning about 50 countries as well. We've even got a customer in Iraq for, for you know, I don't know what they sell and I don't really know what, what want to know what they sell, but um, we've got customers pretty much in, in every, every country um, around the world. Um, and I suppose if you, look at, if you look at some of the use cases as, com as coming to your point, um, the first use case that we see is, is very much unifying the, um, the commerce for a retailer across both platforms. Um, tills have, have traditionally been quite bulky and quite heavy and quite um, uh, not, not really elegant when it comes to looking at them in, in the shop environment. We're replacing all that with, a, with an iPad, which is quite modern and quite funky. Um, here's a couple of our customers that we've got it running as a, as a full-blown till system. So one is Habitat. A um, bit of history on Habitat. They, they're part of the Home Retail Group, um, and Home Retail Group previously uh, sold Homebase, of which um, Habitat were, had concessions within. Homebase very kindly then kicked Habitat out. Sainsbury's then came along and, and purchased the Home Retail Group, and, and Sainsbury's gave Habitat space within uh, Argos and uh, Sainsbury's. So they started to roll out uh, Habitat stores within um, Sainsbury's and Argos. So we're live within their Edinburgh store and their um, uh, Nine Elms store. Uh, we've got plans to roll out across uh, a number of other stores by Christmas as well. Um, another one of our customers, I don't know if anyone could recognise the man there, the face, if anyone's a football fan. No? Any Nottingham Forest supporters? No? Didn't think so. Um, so we're live within uh, Nottingham Forest as well. So we've got about eight tills all set up within the Notts Forest uh, shop that they've got just outside their stadium. Um, and they're doing exactly the same things. So they're using Magento as that, that cloud commerce uh, platform um, to run both their online and their, their in-store um, solutions. So the next use case that we see is um, the ability then to take your Magento instance and use it in a, in a mobile environment. So, and when I say mobile environment, I mean, I mean the environments like pop-up stores, conferences and events. And we've got a customer that's live with us, uh, a customer called Peppermint. Um, they're very much actually a, a competitor to Mothercare. And, um, but, they, but they don't have the retail estate that the mother care have got. They've only got one shop, but they, they, they attend conferences and exhibitions. So they, they actually were at the baby show um, a couple of days back. Um, and they, they managed to get the biggest stand at the event, which is, which is quite unique. So they deployed about 36 of our iPads. Um, and across the three days that they were at the event, they took about 1,500 transactions, all connected into uh, Adyen as a payment provider. What's interesting about them is that previously, before they had our point-of-sale solution, they were actually taking down the orders by pen and paper. Um, and they were going back to the office on a Monday, and they were actually manually entering them into back end of Magento, which was taking about two or three weeks to do. Uh, now they've deployed our solution, they're taking the orders automatically and they're all pushed into Magento and fulfilled from their warehouse management system, um, which, has, which has freed up a lot of their time and cost in terms of you know, delivering the goods to the, to the customers that they have. So the final uh, use case which we see our POS being used in is this, um, what we call endless aisle um, scenario. So, and I'll talk about mother care in a, in a bit. Habitat are doing it as well. So they've got one till in store, which is used for their takeaway goods, uh, as it were, and the other till that they're using very much for taking orders for where products are actually not in stock and they can't carry the full catalog. Um, we're deployed into Paper Chase as well. We're running a trial in, in Paper Chase with a, with a view to actually expand across the whole 130 network of uh, retail outlets. Um, but I wanted to take a bit of time just to talk about mother care. But before I do that, I just want to see, show you what the importance of um, you know, this e-com versus in-store piece actually is. I know we talk a lot about how e-commerce is growing year on year. Um, 
it isn't growing as fast as it used to do, but by 2020, the expectation is that e-com values will represent about $4 trillion globally. But when you put that into perspective with the commerce that is actually happening um, in-store, it's, it's dwarfed. So we're talking less than 10% of, of um, global commerce that is occurring is only is happening online. 90% is still happening in-store. So we're trying to bridge that gap and, and take e-commerce in-store, as it were. So Mother Care, just very quickly as a, as a retailer, um, I'm sure you're all familiar with it. I don't need to um, talk too much about them. Their brands include both Mother Care and the Early Learning Centre. Um, since inception 1961, they've got about over 1,200 stores uh, across 62 markets. Um, their business is split up into two main focuses. One is their shops in the UK, which are owned by Mother Care Group, um, but their interna international stores are actually owned by franchises, different franchises. Some of you might boo at the next slide, uh, just before that. But, but UK sales are nearly 500 million and international sales are nearly 700 million. So they're, they're, a, they're a big player within, within the market. Some of you might boo at the next slide. Um, they use Demandware as their UK platform for uh, e-commerce. Total, e total UK sales are 460 million. Um, online represents about 30% of that. And online is growing at a rate of nearly 20% uh, year on year. But what's interesting with them is Demandware actually have a very similar solution to what we have, but theirs is a, um, is a, is a web-based solution instead of an app-based solution. Um, some limitations to them, they call it WES, web-enabled stores. It's web-based and there's no integrated payment. So when they're taking the order on the shop floor, they physically have to take that customer across to the till point to actually make payments. They can't do it um, there and then where they, the customer stands. But what's interesting is, is that you know, orders on their WES for the UK represent 20% of their um, in-store transactions, which equates to 65 million pounds. So that just shows you what the impact of deploying such a, uh, a, a solution to, to a brand like Mothercare. Um, from their international perspective, they're all based on Magento. So we actually did a trial with uh, Magento in Ireland, in their 15 stores in Ireland at the back end of 2015. Um, they were very impressed with the solution, so they did a full rollout uh, across their 15 stores in the early part of 2016. And what we're seeing is that we're having about 40% week-on-week revenue growth through our solution. Um, and we're seeing one, one particular week, uh, a few weeks back actually, the total web um, orders that were taken in store represented 33% of their overall e-com uh, traffic. So it was quite significant. Um, we're now in a place where we're actually going to be deploying to other countries um, for mother care. China we're already deployed in. Um, Indonesia goes live uh, November, early November. Um, Russia, India, Indonesia will follow, um, uh, Singapore, sorry, will follow very, very shortly. The, the, the app itself um, is, is primarily a sales app, but it can be used, uh, and what the guys at Mothercare are seeing, it can be used to actually assist uh, a sale because you've got the full catalogue product and information in front of you. So Grant is our, is our main contact down at, at Mothercare, um, and he says it's, a, it's just to make an easy, easy way for customers to start purchasing. So I've got um, um, a case study that we did with Mothercare, if anyone's interested, if anyone wants to read of that. Um, but we're, we're very excited to push this out. We very much want our, our partners and all our customers to take this on board. Um, and I'm quite happy to take any further questions you might have.